Hi guys, um, go out here again with another deck profile. This time it's on a Great Nature. Um, it is the Legion variant of Great Nature. Um, so let's get started. Starter I use is Blackboard Parrot um, because um, Telescope Rabbit isn't, isn't going to be good in this deck. Uh, the Grid Through Search is okay if you want to, you can run that. Um, and Flash Marmoset is also a pretty decent choice, seeing as this deck doesn't use very much counterblast. However, I went with Blackboard Parrot to try to get some more burst draw, and um, yeah, solid 5k boost otherwise. The triggers? Um, I went back to the standard uh, 8 crit for draw. Uh, I took out stands in this deck because, uh, yes, while you are, I am running Chat Noir, and standing with Chat Noir is amazing. Um, it's not the main focus of the deck, and I just, I wanted to be able to, I don't know, the crits are, the crits and the draw triggers work well. I'm not, I'm not too worried about putting down a draw trigger, and then giving it 4k boost, so that it hits a good number, and getting rid of it so I can draw a bunch of cards. Um, but I am kind of getting, uh, worried about getting rid of a 10k shield sometimes. So, that's why I like the draw triggers, plus the draw triggers are really good. And actually, I was really hoping we would get Taping Cat. Uh, so you can have these assault and draw cards and stuff like that off those. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can run the stands. I have no opposition to stands in great nature. Uh, just not, they weren't for me in this particular build. And the rest for triggers is obviously for heal. Uh, I'll just go over grade threes, because there's nothing no reason not to. Uh, so, obviously, main unit of the deck is for Tester Fox. Um, what he does is when you uh, Legion with a great mate, by the way, excellent mate. Um, and then during your end phase, when one of your uh, rear guards is put into the drop zone, you can up up a damage. If the rear guard that was put into the drop zone was either him or his mate, you can draw a card and choose two cards from your uh, drop zone and put them in the deck, bottom of the deck, in any order. So he's really good. Uh, he cycles triggers back in. Uh, he cycles copies of stuff that you might want to search out later, like the mate or other cards. Um, or perfect guards, you know, stuff like that. Stuff you just keep needing. And, yeah. Uh, not very kind of bust heavy, so, you know, the unflipping is okay. Uh, but, and then he also has a skill of on attack, give something 4k, which is amazing. You always want something like that on a great nature vanguard, in my opinion. Uh, otherwise, you can, it can really slid on your play. And that's dated, I'm running free chat noir. Um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, you know, when you get it off, it's great. If not, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, chat noir is just my opinion, the next best thing to run until n new stuff comes out. For grade twos, you know, I run a decent amount here. Um, they're on compass line because uh, you don't necessarily want to ride binoculars, and he's the next best thing. And then you can still uh, trigger effects to help you draw. So if you ride him, go Blackboard Parent to Soul on a draw trigger that you call it in a, a duck bill, you cycle the draw trigger for two more cards and still have a good attack. So yeah, that's why he's there. He sets off uh, optimal grade two ride because he's safe. And he sets off abilities when you otherwise you can't. Next grade two, uh, only three bino. Um, since your vanguard has the plus 4k on attack, uh, he's not as necessary. He's still a really good card. He's amazing. He's phenomenal. Uh, but he's not as necessary. And I wanted to make room for other cards I wanted to play. So uh, that's why I bumped him down to three. But still does a lot of work in this deck. I play three Geograph Trant. Uh, running some 6ks in this deck. So I want to be able to hit good numbers. Uh, so that's why I had him. He's a great, uh, great, uh, great two ride, and you know it, you can't make a bad number with him. Uh, so yeah, that's the main reason why he's there. And then four of the mate, uh, research fox, researcher fox. Uh, basically a 9k hamscape if you're in legion. Uh, kind of what's one in your end phase when it's put into the drop zone from rear. Uh, you're in legion. Look for a copy of this. Put it into your hand. So, like, when you're in Legion, um, 
and you have one of these on rear guard. You attack, you give power here, and then this dies at the end of the turn. You choose whichever order you want, so if you don't have any more in deck, uh, and you know that, shuffle one from your drop zone back in there, and then uh, draw, draw a card first, you know, and do stuff like that, and then you can uh, search for one you just put back. Or what you could do is, since you're about to draw a card, you don't want to draw into your last one, and you know you have one more left, you can look for the next one. Dude. Kind of bless one. <laughs> uh, and stuff like that. The only problem with doing this first is that you don't get the shuffle the cards you just put back, they just go to the bottom. So if you put back two triggers that you might desperately need next turn, like a heal, two heals, something like that, I suggest you do this, but you always choose the order, which is great. So for grade ones, uh, I run 4 AK. The main reason for the AK is that you're constantly going to be setting, giving the 4K boost here. So this column uh, with the 4K boost is 21, and that's a great number. Um, if I was running uh, a bunch of 7Ks, uh, then this would only be 20, and this meta, well, 20 hits a Vanguard. For a 10k shield that doesn't hit for a 15k shield like this does. Plus, Silver Wolf's a great ride, and if you have behind that Chat Noir, it swings 21, and if you have behind your Legion, it swings 28, which is a good number against anybody. I want to run more than these, but I, I, there's no room. I might bump down a Silver Wolf, but three Coil and Tuckle. Um, Coil and Tuckle is just a great card. Uh, during your main phase, when this placed on rear guard, choose one of your other rear guards. Give it the ability when it goes to the. Uh, Wait, uh, sorry, drops on at the end of the turn, draw a card. So you can stack that, it stacks with parrot, it stacks with itself. You know, great burst draw, uh, especially on like a break right turn, should you break right, you know, you're getting about three or four additional cards in your hand, so, great. Uh, I expect a classic, it's Hamske. Um, kind of was one, uh, when it's put in the waiting room at the end of your turn, or I'm sorry, drops on at the end of your turn, uh, look for another copy of itself and add to your hand. So. Now, granted why you can't, you know, do old Leopold shenanigans, kind of plus one, look for one, kind of plus one, call it back, so you get a plus one. Uh, you do get the break even, plus uh, with one power up he becomes a uh, 10k booster, which is good. Um, so, with compass line and your grade threes, that hits uh, 21, which is good. Um, I also added him, because like I said, not a lot of kind of plus in this deck, and I had some room. So I threw, threw him in there, and uh, he allows you to set off your copies early, or your combos early, without minusing yourself, because if you just go at some point in the game before Legion and you don't have uh, uh, Tester Fox, uh, Researcher Fox, um, you don't you want to be able to break even, so you can throw a ductile on this, uh, kill it. Search for one, draw a card, so that way you get a plus one still and not a break even. If that makes any sense. And the last four perfects. Uh, we didn't get a clean, I don't think. I don't remember. I don't think we did. No, we definitely didn't. So, four perfects, you know, only way to go. Uh, but yeah. So basically, what this deck does is just constant uh, pluses. You know, every turn after you Legion and have uh, a Tester Fox on the field. I'm sorry, a researcher fox. Uh, you're always going to plus one every turn because uh, you attack, get power here, you get a turn, this dies, you draw a card, you search for another one. So that's a plus one. Um, easy as that. And plus, you shuffle back triggers, which gives you more chance of hit triggers. So yeah, it's 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 a very attritiony deck, uh, but it works well, and I can't wait for support from G Booster too, because the uh, current nature just gets even better. But until then, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.